Hi, this is Michael from cpguru.com. I wanted to show you the latest widget that I've been working on. It's a calculator widget, which you can insert on your Capture It slides and allow your students to perform calculations directly in your project. Um, we'll put it on the master slide, so we'll go to the master slide view and we'll insert the widget, which is located on my desktop. Um, you'll have three options in the widget parameters. You can transfer the result to a Captivate variable when the equal sign is clicked. You can make the calculator movable so the student can drag and drop it around uh, on, on the Captivate stage. And you can use your own button in Captivate to show and hide the calculator. So we'll just enable all three of them. And where you place the widget on your master slide is where it will appear once the student uh, clicks the button. So we'll just put it right here in the corner. We'll switch back to our timeline view. Let's um, go and create the result variable that we need, the result, and we'll save that. And we'll probably create a little text caption um, that will show us the value of uh, the deep result variable. Let's just make a green. There we go. And let's set it to display for the rest of the project. So we'll keep it here. Um, you probably want to check out, check the use master slide objects on top so that we'll make sure that the calculator is on top of everything else on the slide. Let's just insert a new blank slide here. And one more. There we go, we have three slides now. And um, we'll extend the timeline a little bit. This one's good now. So, next step is to insert a button and we'll just have a regular button right here and we'll put in the item name up here in the top right corner we'll put underscore clc underscore calc and that's the suffix that the widget will listen for uh, in order to open and close the, the widget or the calculator sorry um, in the button action on success criteria we'll set it to no action um, the only thing we want to happen when the user clicks the button is that the calculator opens uh, not that the project continues or jumps to the next slide etc. And let's go and set the timing to the rest of slide. Um, we'll look at the other slide. We won't place any button here so you can see that the widget, the calculator widget is uh, hidden. And let's go to the last slide and insert a new button and put calc underscore calc here as well display for rest of slide and we'll change the unsuccess criteria to no action. So now we're actually all set up so we'll go and preview our project <coughs> and if we click the button we'll get our calculator widget up and we can say 45 times 2 90 and as you can see the captivate variable or the text caption showing the captivate variable is updated with the result from uh, from the calculator and we can divide that by 7 click equal and again we'll have an updated uh, value here in the text caption we can close the calculator again we can open it it still retains the result uh, we can move it around drag and drop it to another location if we want that and if we go to the next slide, you'll see there's no calculator here. Uh, we don't have any button to turn it on and off. And in a moment, we'll go to the last slide. We'll have a new button. We'll open it up again. So basically, a little calculator widget, which you can use for various things in your project. Pretty easy to use, easy to set up. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.